The ASTM specifications require that reinforcing bars be identified by a distinguishing set of marks legibly rolled onto the surface of one side of the bar. The marks indicate, in order, the producing mill, bar size, type of steel, and minimum yield designation. The producing mill is shown by letter or symbol, and a company may have different symbols for each mill location. The bar size is shown by an Arabic number corresponding to metric bar sizes number 10 through number 36, number 43, and number 57, or inch-pound markings number 3 through number 11, number 14, and number 18. The type of steel is shown by letters and symbols below the bar size. The letter S identifies requirements meeting ASTM A615. The letter W identifies steel meeting the ASTM A706 specification. Other types of steel are covered by different letters and symbols. The minimum yield designation is shown by either a number or a line. Grade 60 420 megapascals rebar has either the number 4 or a single additional line through at least five deformation spaces adjacent to the continuous longitudinal rib. Grade 75, 520 megapascals has the number five or two additional longitudinal lines. No grade number or additional line is required for grade 40, 300 megapascals. A706 does not require either a grade number or an additional line space. It's specified only in grade 60. The ASTM specifications also have requirements for deformations rolled onto the surface of bars. Producing mills have different deformation patterns and some mills have deformation patterns that vary with bar size. Information on rebar markings and mill marks for U.S. manufacturers of reinforcing bars can be found in the CRSI publication Manual of Standard Practice Chapter 1 and Appendix A. Mill test certificates should be readily available to the inspector.